Today's Daily Ideas brought to you by dailyhub.com. Hi, I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. What comes to mind when you hear the term social networking? MySpace? Facebook? Okay, let's take the internet out of the picture. Now, without hyperventilating or popping your mama's Xanax, think about social networking. Does your heart rate increase? You need an extra swipe of deodorant? Believe it or not, years ago, people would actually meet face to face and have conversations. <laughs> Meeting real people in the real world, performing actual social networking is a common anxiety that touches everyone. In fact, 13% of the general population will qualify as having social anxiety disorder at some point in their lifetime. Well, the crack team of researchers at The Daily Idea can't stand the idea of our viewers being in that 13%. So they hit the speed dating circuit, hung out at bars, and crashed weddings and took notes. We deciphered their scribblings and today present to you five things that will help you not suck at socializing. First, strike up conversation. Sure, this is the hardest one to tackle if you're a little people shy. Remember, the other people at the social event are there to be social too. They want you to break the ice. Ask what they do for a living and the conversation will take on a life of its own. If you don't start the conversation with someone you want to meet, you might get stuck talking with someone you don't. Look for the little things. These are those chance encounters like crossing paths at the doorway. If someone smiles or nods at you, smile or nod back. When you run into them later, the ice is already broken. Stick out your hand and introduce yourself. Number three, dress the part. No one wants to socialize with the disheveled skater punk at the Young Business Leaders Luncheon. Now we certainly don't want to imply you can't add a splash of individuality, but try not to stand out like a sore thumb. The fourth tip to not suck at socializing is to remember conversations take two, not just you. There's another person involved. While you might very well care deeply about the Mac versus PC war, no one is interested in listening to a five minute lecture on anything. Remember other people like to talk about what interests them. When they stumble across something that you don't know much about, ask. They'll feel smart sharing their knowledge, but more importantly, they'll feel like the center of your attention, a surefire way to keep them involved in the conversation. Number five, keep open body language. Okay, which pose looks more open and inviting? This or this? If you look friendly, people will think you are friendly. Closed body language, arms folded, frowning, not making eye contact with people is an immediate turnoff. By opening your body language, moving around the room, making eye contact with others, smiling, you're opening yourself to the possibility of meeting new people. And well, that's kind of the point, isn't it? Of course, there's one more tip that makes social networking in the real world a heck of a lot easier than it sounds. Booze. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Just remember to relax and be yourself. So get yourself pumped for that singles mixer, hold your chin up, and be confident at the networking luncheon. You're ready to apply your mad social networking skills to something besides a website. And that's another daily idea.